Once upon a time, in a land far away, a giant owned a beautiful garden. This garden was a marvel to behold, a paradise painted in nature's most vibrant hues. It was a haven where the seasons danced in harmony, a melody of blossoming flowers in spring, lush greenery in summer, the golden kiss of autumn leaves, and the serene white blanket of winter. The garden's heart, however, pulsed with the laughter and joy of local children. They would sneak into the garden, their little feet treading upon the emerald carpet of grass, their giggles echoing amidst the rustling leaves. They would swing from the branches of the peach trees, and their innocent merriment would breathe life into the garden. But the owner of this haven was a giant, a creature of imposing stature and a heart hardened by solitude. After a long sojourn, the giant returned, his shadow looming over his cherished garden. To his surprise, he found it teeming with the chatter and clamor of children. Their presence, rather than warming his heart, sparked a fire of anger within him. He roared at them, his voice thundering through the garden, scattering the children like frightened birds. How dare you trespass in my garden, he bellowed, his eyes flashing with indignation. The children, their laughter replaced with tears, fled from the garden, their safe haven turned into a fortress of fear. The giant, consumed by his selfishness, made a decision, one that would cast a long shadow over his beautiful garden. He decided to wall off his garden from the world to keep it all to himself. He summoned all his strength and built a tall, imposing wall, a barrier as cold and unyielding as his heart. And so the garden that once echoed with the symphony of children's laughter now stood silent and deserted. The giant, standing tall and alone amidst his isolated paradise, declared with a cold finality, my own garden is my own garden. Unbeknownst to him, his selfishness would invite a winter that would last far beyond its season. With the children gone, a harsh winter fell upon the garden. This was not your ordinary winter that came with the turning of the year. This was an eternal winter, a relentless frost that seized the once vibrant garden in its icy grip. The giant's selfish act had driven away the laughter and joy, and in their place, a bitter cold had taken up residence. The garden, once a haven of life and color, had become a barren, frozen landscape. The flowers hid beneath the snow, too afraid to bloom while the trees stood still and silent, their branches bare. The once bubbling brook was now a frozen pathway, its cheerful babble replaced by the eerie silence of the winter. The birds no longer visited, their songs replaced by the howling of the cold wind. The garden had become a picture of desolation, a mirror of the giant's cold, selfish heart. Without the children's laughter to warm them, the spring and summer dared not return. They watched from afar, waiting for the day when the sound of innocent joy would once again fill the air. The autumn, too, stayed away, reluctant to shed its leaves on the frost-covered ground. And so the garden remained in the grip of the eternal winter, a prisoner of the giant's selfishness. In his large, cold castle, the giant sat alone, staring out at his lifeless garden. He noticed the absence of the vibrant colors and the playful sounds, but most of all, he noticed the absence of joy. The garden had reflected the children's happiness, and now it reflected his loneliness. He could not understand why the winter stayed, why the spring refused to come. He did not realize that it was his own selfishness that had locked the garden in this eternal winter. The garden lay under a blanket of frost as the giant sat in his large, cold castle, staring out at his lifeless garden. The beauty he had once taken for granted was gone, replaced by the cold reality of his actions. It was a harsh lesson, but a necessary one. For only by understanding the consequences of his selfishness could the giant hope to bring back the warmth of the seasons and the joy of the children. Spring arrived in the land, yet the giant's garden remained in the grip of winter. As the first buds of new life began to emerge from the frost-kissed soil, the world started to awaken from its wintry slumber. The once barren trees adorned themselves in a stunning display of vibrant blossoms and the air filled with the sweet songs of birds returning from their southern sojourn. The earth was reborn in an explosion of color, warmth and joy. Spring had indeed arrived, dressing the world in its festive robes, yet one place remained untouched by its magic, the giant's garden. In the giant's garden, winter refused to loosen its icy grip. The trees stood stark and bare, their branches heavy with snow. The flowers were nowhere to be seen, 
and the songbirds that once filled the garden with their melodies were conspicuously absent. The garden was a stark contrast to the rejuvenation happening outside its walls. It was as if the garden was stuck in a never-ending winter, a prisoner of its own isolation. The giant was puzzled. Why had spring, so generous in its blessings, ignored his beautiful garden? He watched the world outside his walls come alive while his garden remained a frozen wasteland. Perplexed and frustrated, the giant started to question his isolationist ways. And then, it dawned on him. The children. They were the missing element. They were the ones who had always brought life and laughter to his garden with their games and joyful noises. They were the magic that drove away the winter and invited the spring. They were the ones who had transformed his garden into a little piece of heaven on earth. The giant's heart filled with a newfound understanding. He realized his selfishness had not only deprived the children of their playground, but also robbed his garden of its life. His garden wasn't just a piece of land. It was a living, breathing entity that thrived on the laughter and joy of the children. The giant understood that the children were the life of his garden and decided to tear down the wall. With a resolute heart, he embarked on a mission to bring spring back to his garden, to bring life back to its rightful place. With the wall down, the children returned, and with them, they brought spring. A chorus of laughter echoed through the garden as the kids joyfully rediscovered their once lost playground. The once barren garden bloomed, the flowers danced, and the birds sang, as if celebrating the return of their little friends. As the children played, the giant watched from his castle window, a broad smile replacing his once stern expression. He had transformed, like his garden, from a cold, selfish individual to a loving figure, a guardian of joy and innocence. The chill of winter in his heart had given way to the warmth of spring. Among the children, there was one little boy who especially caught the giant's eye. The boy was smaller than the others and he was struggling to climb one of the trees that the children loved to perch upon. The giant's heart stirred. He rushed out, lifted the boy gently and placed him onto the tree. The boy's eyes sparkled with gratitude and he wrapped his tiny arms around the giant in a heartfelt embrace. From that day forward, the little boy and the giant became inseparable. The giant would wait eagerly for the boy's arrival and the garden seemed even brighter when he was there. The boy, with his innocent charm and endearing love, had a special place in the giant's heart. The giant, who had once walled off his garden, now shared it wholeheartedly. He found joy in the children's happiness and their laughter became his favorite melody. His once selfish heart now brimmed with love and generosity. The transformation was not just in the garden, but in the giant himself. The return of the children, especially the little boy, had thawed his icy demeanor. He learned the power of love, the joy of sharing, and the warmth of kindness. The giant's heart warmed as he watched the little boy, and for the first time he felt a sense of happiness. The story of the selfish giant was no longer a tale of selfishness, but a story of transformation, of redemption, and of love. One day, the giant found the little boy under a dead tree bearing puncture wounds on his hands and feet. A rage fell over the giant as his eyes fell upon the child, whose tiny form was marred by signs of suffering. Yet the boy's countenance radiated a warmth that seemed to seep into the giant's very soul, quieting his vengeful spirit. The sight of the boy's wounds stirred something within the giant, a feeling that echoed through the chambers of his heart. It was a feeling of remorse, of empathy that he had never known before. The boy, with a gentle, forgiving smile, revealed himself as the Christ child. His presence was a testament to the power of love and sacrifice. It was in that moment, under the bare branches of the dead tree, that the giant understood the depth of his selfishness. He realized how he had shut out the world, hoarding the beauty of his garden for himself, denying the joy it could bring to others. This realization swept over him like a tidal wave, washing away his selfishness and replacing it with the warmth of compassion. The giant, once so consumed by his own desires, now felt an overwhelming urge to share his garden, his joy with the world. The Christ child's wounds, a symbol of love and sacrifice, served as a stark contrast to the giant's past actions. 
They were a reminder of the true essence of love, the ability to give without expecting anything in return, the strength to forgive even when faced with unkindness. The giant, moved by the boy's sacrifice, pledged to amend his ways. He vowed to open his garden to the children, to share the joy and beauty he had hoarded for so long. His redemption was not merely a promise, but a testament to the transformative power of selflessness and forgiveness. The giant's journey from selfishness to selflessness marked a significant shift in his character. It was a testament to the enduring power of love and forgiveness, to the ability of kindness to melt even the coldest of hearts. The giant learned the true meaning of selflessness, and his garden was once again filled with joy and laughter.